Polling has begun across 38 of the 60 assembly constituencies in Manipur. We're right now in the Khurai Thangjam Lekai of Imphal East District, where you can see behind me a number of voters have lined up to cast their ballot. Now, let's go talk to some of the voters um, out here to understand what are the main issues they're thinking about when casting the ballots. What do you think that has the new government, has the BJP government done sufficiently enough this time? Uh, I think uh, it depends. Okay. We, we can't say uh, which government is better. Okay. But but uh, we are hoping that in the future, the uh, next government, they will do better, whoever comes in uh, power. So our expectation is as a, as a youth, uh, employment generation, and more of a deployment of infrastructure of the state. Okay. That's that's my agenda. And and right now, uh, because of COVID, there are a lot of health issues, right? That that I think need to be addressed by the new government. That's my opinion. So, but if you compare the Congress and the BJP, so what 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 is your impression? I think, uh, as per me, both uh, both have uh, not fulfilled yeah. their uh, their like their uh, promises that well. But I think. Uh, this uh, the current government is trying uh, uh, to do better, but uh, it's not even enough. So I think uh, they need to work more on that if they come again in power. And if Congress comes back, I think they need to, you know, revamp, uh, re reboot their uh, status again. Do you think any of these new parties, the smaller ones, um, will do anything better for Manipur like NPP? Yeah, we can expect uh, much from the regional parties because they are rooted to the ground. And I think... Uh, expectation are more from them i think it will be better if it's a coalition government right. with their part participation so we've now arrived at another polling booth in imphal east this is the sanjay bam polling booth so you can see a lot of voters are have uh, also come down here uh, let's ask a few of them what the main issues are uh, you know for them in these elections what's your name ma'am my name is rebecca so rebecca what issues are you thinking about when casting the vote what kind of problems are you faced uh, we are facing about uh, this uh, education system yeah. and uh, lack of uh, this uh, electricity, but now it's okay. The deployment is a uh, little bit better. It's a little bit better, so it's better under the, this uh, this government? Yeah, this government. Okay, so are you a first time voter? No, no, second time. Second time you're voting, okay. So um, so you are in college, right? No, no, I have finished. You finished. So you, yeah, are you trying to look for a job? Uh, are you seeking employment? Are you working right now? Yeah, right now I'm working. Okay, so is employment a big issue in the state? I mean, there are not... So yeah, there is a lot of uh, employment issues there in Manipur. But, uh, but I hope uh, this uh, coming uh, government will provide our needs. Okay. The, the, about this uh, job employment. the road, education, education, We've reached a third polling booth um, the ta in Takhil Leikai. Uh, you can see there is a larger crowd out here, long lines against these beautiful mountains, uh, beautiful hills that is. So, um, ma'am, aap, aap ke liye bhi issue kya hai? what is the main issue uh, you are thinking about the vote? Before you tell your name, what is your name? ไอ้เลมบิทงเชียมบาซิดีปาเมเลมบิทงเจอกุลอโตมาใส่ดาปุขีตอกบ่ตองตอเรสรอกเซอะดนะจะทอกซะซินเดยามนุงไงตราบิน
just give you a glimpse of the intensity of the polling day as we were um, at this uh, polling booth in Takhil we were uh, the, the Congress candidate for the Constitution constituency Mr. Devin just happened to come by flanked by commandos he walked right through between the the line for the men and the women all the way to the room of the polling booth to cast his vote and as he was walking through it he wished everybody but also sought their support in the upcoming in these elections with photographer Praveen Jain this is Angna Chakrabarti reporting for the print